How can you harness the power of wind to power up a light? Hi, my name is Julie Yu, and I'm a scientist in the Exploratorium Teacher Institute. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to harness the energy of the wind to light an LED. The main device we're going to be using to do this is the small hobby motor. But we're going to use the motor in reverse of how it's normally used. Normally, you attach some electrical input, like a battery, to these two terminals, and it spins the shaft. Instead, we're going to actively spin the motor shaft, and that's going to shoot electricity out of these terminals. So I'm going to take an LED that I'm going to attach just by threading the legs through the little holes in the terminals. And if we can find a way to spin this shaft, it can generate enough electricity to light the LED. So I'm going to try to do that just by spinning it with my hands. You can see that every time I spin, it changes the mechanical energy of my spin to enough electricity to light this LED. We're going to build a device called a wind generator, where we harness the power of the wind to spin the shaft and light the LED. To make your wind generator, you're going to need the hobby motor and LED, four popsicle sticks, a small three ounce paper cup, and then a slightly larger cup to serve as your base. This could be a plastic or paper cup. First thing we're going to do is to make the fan assembly for the, for the blades. And the frame for that you make by gluing two popsicle sticks together. You want to glue them together in the center so that they create a cross. And then after they're glued, you want to drill a small hole that's the size of the shaft of your motor. And I've already done that here. You can see I have two popsicle sticks glued together with the hole. The next thing you need to make are the blades that are going to go um, and serve as your fan. And to do that, I like to use a three ounce cup. You, if you cut the three ounce cup lengthwise and then again into four pieces, you can see that these blades are just the outside of the cup where I've removed the base. And so now I have four blades made out of my three ounce Dixie cup. Each of those blades gets hot glued onto the edge of the popsicle stick frame. And I'm going to just take some of my glue. And you can play around however you want, but I'm going to glue it so that my edge, one edge, is aligned with the edge of the popsicle stick. So it's a little offset because I think that helps the fan turn more efficiently. I'm going to keep gluing to make sure I have four blades for my wind generator. all the while making sure that I have my blades offset in the same manner. So now I have a gluey mess, but most importantly, a frame with four blades. Next thing you need to do is to, you need to build your base. And the base is made from your larger cup and your remaining two popsicle sticks. And basically, all your base needs to do is to hold your motor assembly in place. So I'm going to glue these popsicle sticks just to the side of this cup. And these are just to help hold the motor assembly above the cup to provide some height. I'm going to place the fan assembly onto the shaft of the motor. Remember I drilled that hole that was the same size of my motor shaft. So I can slide it right on. And you actually want it to be a snug fit. You don't want it to be too loose because you want the fans spin to also spin the shaft of the motor. Then you want to use these, the other ends of these two popsicle sticks to hold the motor in place. And I like to just position it to make sure I have enough room. See how that fan blade is hitting the cup? That means I need to angle my motor a little more. And go ahead and spin your fan assembly to make sure it's going to clear your base. And that can spin freely in the wind. Now that I know the correct position of my motor, 
I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue it into place. And you can see that I've created my wind generator. Now I need to go outside on a windy day or find a fan to provide the energy that's going to light my LED. One last thing to note is that LEDs only work when electricity runs through them in one direction. So when you attach it to the motor, it's only going to work if the motor is spinning in the correct orientation. And you might not be able to predict that because it's going to spin in clockwise or counterclockwise depending on how you designed your blades. The easiest way to test out your LED is just to take your wind generator out into the wind or put it in front of a fan and see how the blades spin. If your LED isn't lighting up, just simply take it out and reverse the orientation and maybe that's the right way to go.